Howdy y'all, Cowboy Colin here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys exactly how we present our gutter solutions to our customers in the way that we're able to uh, inspect their home, the things that we actually inspect, the things that other people don't, so that we can ask for what other people can't. So the first order of business that we do, um, as a sales rep, when our lead sh pops up, right, our text all get an automated text or email. I think they actually get both in our system, but um, in automated text and email, hey, this lead has been assigned to you, right? So they pull it up and they call, hey, Mrs. Smith, I see you got put on my schedule for Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm so excited. I'm reading through the notes here. It looks like um, you're just really wanting to protect that landscape. You got some beautiful tulips or something, right? And just start the conversation off. Yep. Uh, Mrs. Smith is going to tell you all about her flowers or whatever. Like, okay, awesome. Well, I've got some really good solutions for that. I uh, can't wait to see you next Tuesday at three o'clock. Boom. That's it. Really simple conversation, but the sales rep starts building rapport at that point. All right. Then there's a bunch of automations that go out, right? Uh, different payment options, my background check as a sales rep, uh, appointment reminders, all that good stuff that's all automated through the CRM. But then the morning of, it's another phone call from the office confirming that appointment. Hey, we're still on for today at this time. Colin will be coming out there at three o'clock today. He'll call you when he's on his way, all right? We, we usually give him like a three to four time frame because sometimes our prior appointments run over, or whatever, right? So Colin will be out there between three and four o'clock. He'll be calling you when he's on his way, all right? So then it's three, it's whatever, 2.30, right? I got a half hour drive there, I'm heading out. So I call Mrs. Smith. Hey, Mrs. Smith, it's Colin with Superior Exteriors. I am heading your way. I'm just leaving another appointment, uh, but I'm actually gonna be like two, three minutes late. I'll be there, the GPS is saying 3.02. I'm so sorry I'm gonna be late. This is a magic trick, all right, guys? When you call them and intentionally let them know that you are running one or two minutes late, you're setting the precedence that I'm a professional and I'm never late, all right? So being one or two minutes late in today's world, people don't think twice about that. People don't make those calls, but when you do, and you reference something like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was raised uh, 10 minutes early is on time, right? And so I'm running 12 minutes late, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, Mrs. Smith is like, wow, this dude is legit. Right. But you say, you know what, part of the reason I'm going to be late is I actually have to stop at the gas station and use the restroom. Um, I'm going to grab myself a drink. Can I get you anything? Beef jerky, Mountain Dew, anything like that? Nine times out of ten, they're going to say, oh, no, Colin, it's completely fine. Thank you, though. Um, a lot of times they'll say, oh, honey, I'll, I'll have a water bottle waiting for you. Or you want coffee? I'll have, a, I'll have coffee hot for you. They want to serve you. At this point, they feel like they know you and they want to serve you. It's like you're their grandkid or you're their son coming over. They want to serve you. Always, always, always accept what they offer. If they're offering water, if they're offering a LaCroix or a Mountain Dew or whatever, always accept it, all right? I don't care what your diet is. Accept it because it breaks the ice. But if Mrs. Smith says, yes, I would love some beef jerky, you better get, your, get Mrs. Smith some beef jerky, all right? So now the, fun's part, the fun part starts. We show up at their house, all right? Where we park the vehicle, is crazy important here, all right? All of our vehicles are logoed up, all right? And they're not full wraps or anything like that, but they have our logo very clearly on them. We need to park that somewhere where it is front and center the entire time. So no matter where they're at in their home, they're looking right at our car. So our brand is just getting beamed right into their eyes the entire time. Uh, we show up, we do our walk around, all right? I'm gonna inspect things that other people don't. I'm gonna ask to see their basement. I'll get in their crawl space, right? Some of y'all down in Florida, whatever, have just slabs. Look for popping tiles and stuff in their house and point that out and say, hey, this is because you've got water underneath your foundation and it's causing that concrete to move. That's a real thing, I know, because I sold down in Florida. Right, this is very, very real. But up here in Michigan, we're looking for moisture in their block walls. We're looking for moisture in their concrete walls. Asking them, have you ever had water down here? Do you know where it came in? Okay, I definitely don't wanna put a downspout there. All of these things matter tremendously. You're asking, your job when you're doing that walk around is not to teach them everything then. It's ask them questions so that you get the opportunity to teach. Don't just go out there and be a noisy gong. Right? Ask them questions, get them talking, let them tell you all the issues, let them tell you all of their objections, and you get to overcome them then, before you give them the price, and then have to try and overcome all these objections. Right? Then you look like a real jerk, and you're just trying to get a sale. You get to overcome all these 
on the front end. So we do the full walk around. I build out the estimate in the car. I say, Mrs. Smith, I'm gonna need about 10 minutes. Let me put all this together here. I'll, uh, and I'll come up and I'll show you some samples. We'll pick some stuff for your home and what you desire. And then I'll give you the price. Okay, great. So now we get to do the fun part, the presenting of the gutter product. So now we have to do the fun part. We have to show them the actual gutter and the difference in products and all that good stuff, all right? So I'm gonna grab my five inch sample here as well. And I'm gonna act like I'm just, I'm showing Mrs. Smith this. Alrighty, Mrs. Smith, I've got a couple different options here for you. And one of them we're gonna get to throw away almost right off the rip, all right? You see the difference in these two gutters? And she's gonna say, yeah, one's way bigger than the other one. Yeah, this one's actually about 90% bigger than this one. So this is called five inch gutter and this is six inch. We actually don't even stall a five inch gutter anymore. And I'll, if I'm in their house, I won't throw it. But if we're like sitting on the porch, I'll throw it out in the yard, all right? So we don't even install a five inch gutter anymore. And the reason is it's just an inferior product, all right? Six inch has been slowly taking over the market here over the last few years, uh, really the last like 10 years. And we decided at the, at the start of the new year, we're done with everything five inch. It's gonna make our trucks easier to stock, our inventory, all that good stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, we know that a six inch gutter is gonna hold up to all the rains that we get up here in Northern Michigan. And she's gonna be like, oh, okay, that makes a ton of sense, right? Uh, another big benefit to you is it's only like 5% more to go six inch gutter versus five inch gutter. It's not that much more product um, and the, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Does that make sense to you, Mrs. Smith? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So on our gutter here, we have a couple different things that I wanna go over, all right? First things first, we're gonna put an end cap on as this gutter rolls out of the machine. All right, you see our sealant in here. Now this is a special sealant that we use. Nobody else in the area uses it. Um, our, our founder actually um, was talking to a guy in Canada who'd been doing gutter for like 40 years. And this guy had switched to this product. And so we actually get it imported in from Canada. Um, long story short, uh, we get the exact same thing, but nobody in the States really uses this thing, but it lasts 50 years. It's an amazing product that um, guarantees that your gutter will not leak for 50 years. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, next thing you'll see is a different, couple different types of hangers here. Right? This is called a hidden hanger, and this is called a vampire hanger. The good news is we don't need to use this vampire hanger on your roof because they're really, really ugly. You have the proper fascia that we can use a hidden hanger and your gutter is gonna be able to blend right into your home. All right, does that make sense? Yes, okay, so we're using hidden hangers, not the vampires. So these hidden hangers are actually really, really cool. They, there's a lip on the bottom side of the gutter that they clip on, they go down, and then the screw goes into your fascia board. That's how your gutter is actually hung. Did you know that, Mrs. Smith? No, I didn't. Awesome, so we're both learning things today, all right? Um, so we have that. Then we gotta get the water out of this gutter, right? So we have two different options here. We have your standard outlet, and then we have your wide mouth outlet, all right? Also known as a max flow outlet. Both of these serve a purpose, all right? The purpose is the downspout can mount to them, all right? Now it comes down to which one do we need in which situation, all right? This one is more than sufficient if we have gutter cover on, we're not gonna have a lot of debris getting into the gutter, but if we're gonna have open gutters, I always recommend going with this wide mouth because the, the debris will be able to flow into the gutter much better. You see how um, the outlet kind of sticks up in here? I know it seems like it wouldn't make a big difference, but the amount of debris that gets caught on that is unfathomable, all right? This will cause a mound of junk to sit above your downspout, and then nothing is gonna be able to go down it, all right? So we always recommend a wide mouth if we're keeping the gutter open. Does that make sense, Mrs. Smith? Yeah, awesome. That's everything about the gutter that I have for you, Mrs. Smith. Now I wanna talk about the gutter covers option. All right, so this is our budget-friendly option, okay? This is called our leaf relief. Same situation as the hanger, but this actually clips on the back, and then we put screws through this so it eliminates the need for the hanger. And believe it or not, mounting it this way with this, it's called a leaf relief continuous hanger, all right? So this is a continuous hanger for the gutter, and it actually makes it about three times stronger than just using these hangers. So really a unique product. The only downfall I have with it, all right? It's gonna keep your gutter clean for the most part, but these holes like shingle granules, pine needles and stuff can still get through them. 
Uh, but the bigger issue is, you see how it sits down in the gutter about a half, three quarters of an inch? So this creates like a mini gutter, all right? And debris will pile up on top of this and get stuck there. So it still requires being cleaned off like three, four times a year, all right? So it still requires maintenance and that's the only downside. Does that seem like something that you'd still be interested in having to have that cleaned off three or four times a year? And she's gonna say something along the lines of, well, no, if I'm gonna buy a gutter cover, I don't wanna to have to take care of it still. Yeah, that makes sense, Mrs. Smith. I, we don't sell a lot of this for that reason. What we do sell a lot of, this is our, <clears throat> this is our premium product. Now, no, I said premium because people love hearing that word. All right, this is our premium product. This is called Leaf Blaster Pro. This is aluminum on the ends, all right, extruded aluminum and then stainless steel mesh. So it's never gonna rust and look like crap and it's metal, right? So the birds aren't gonna pick at it like crazy. So this actually comes in four foot long chunks, mounts something like this, all right? So on the front, we'll put a couple screws on the front of it. And then you see how it's got this little, well, let me go to this first, all right? It actually goes underneath that first row of shingles. So it sits on a little bit of an angle like this. And that angle is gonna change the, the, the more that your gutter is pitched, right? On a very, very long run. If your gutter's pitched more, it's gonna start looking higher where when it's less pitched, it's gonna look like that. Does that make sense, Mrs. Smith? I'm educating Mrs. Smith throughout the process. I'm letting her know sometimes her gutter cover might look like this. Other times it's gonna look like this. And I'm letting her know that that's okay. All right, that's how it's supposed to be. Another thing, so Mrs. Smith, your gutter cover sitting like this, because the screen is so tight knit, I'm gonna set this down so I can show it to you better. All right, this screen is so tight knit that water will actually run over top of it. There are over 120 different micro mesh covers like this out there. And the thing that separates Leaf Blaster Pro from the rest of them is this little lip here. You see how that is? Let me show this to you back on the gutter. You see how it's got like a little dam feature on it there? What happens is the water runs down and it hits that and then it trickles right in to the gutter like it's supposed to. Our founder actually tested over a hundred different gutter covers on his home before he selected this one as our premium product. All right, and the number one reason that we chose this one is water does not run over the face of it. All of the other micro mesh covers that we tested, water would run right over the top of it in the, even a moderate rain. And you know we've been getting some pretty crazy rains here lately, right? So that little dam is making a world of a difference in keeping the water from running over the face of the gutter, which is the entire point of the gutter, right? Yeah, so th again, this is our premium product, Leaf Blaster Pro. It still is not maintenance free. And if anybody shows up here and tells you that their gutter cover is 100% maintenance free, kick them off your porch as fast as you can. They're lying to your face. All right, now with Leaf Blaster Pro, we recommend once a year wiping this off because it will, like things will get stuck in it just perfectly. You will have some stuff that sets on it or whatever, but it's significantly less. And it's got these little raised ribs so that it's lifted and the leaves will blow off of it. And that actually works. But things like pine needles will get stuck in it. Shingle granules will get stuck in it. Um, and they need to be cleaned off once a year, once every other year, something like that. Does this sound like more of a product that you'd be interested in, Mrs. Smith? Yes, that's the one that I'm gonna want, Colin. Awesome, cool. They might ask questions like, does it keep pine needles out? It sure does, this is so tight. Um, a pine needle could stick perfectly in it, and some other pine needles could like get stuck around it, but they, it'll keep your gutter really, really clean. It'll even keep shingle granules out, but it will have some stuff that does get stuck on it that needs to be cleaned. Leaf Blaster Pro, like our technicians will actually give you a pamphlet. All you gotta do is fill out this form and Leaf Blaster Pro will send you a free brush. You can even call us and we can come take care of that for you. We'd love to keep serving you in that way. Do you have any questions regarding the product, Mrs. Smith? And for the most part, they're gonna say no. Another big thing, um, total sidebar, I did not go into this on this one because 99% of people will not run into this. But for us, like our headquarters is right on Lake Michigan, very, very sandy. If we have a home right on Lake Michigan, we will not sell this because sand will get through it. Um, that is a little part of my presentation. The only thing that gets through this is water and sand. So if it's if it, you're living, if they're on the ocean or a huge, huge lake with a lot of sand blowing, 
do not sell this product to them. And it's actually a kill. You tell them there's no product that's gonna work for you. This is the best product on the market and this won't even work. Unfortunately, you live in this beautiful home with a beautiful view. Um, one of the downsides to that is there is not a gutter cover that is gonna serve its purpose for you. We're gonna have to clean your gutters out once or twice a year and just clean the sand out of them. So Mrs. Smith has no questions on the gutter. All right, Mrs. Smith, so we're gonna, I'm gonna give you, put a quote together for the gutter with the hidden hangers, Leaf Blaster Pro, and because we're gonna use Leaf Blaster Pro, we can get away with just using the regular outlets and not having to upgrade to the wide mouth outlets. Is that what you're after? Perfect, okay. Give me about five, 10 minutes here. I'm gonna put all this quote together and uh, I'll knock on your door and then I'll go over all the prices with you. All right, boom. All right, so that's that process, all right? So now, I'm gonna put the quote all together here. And I obviously do not have a real quote right now in front of me, um, but I'll tell you exactly how it goes, how we go through it. So here we go. I'm gonna leave the products out so Mrs. Smith can still see the products and touch and feel the things that she's about to buy, all right? So, all right, Mrs. Smith, I got some numbers for you here. And uh, before we get into that, I just wanna again touch on, we're putting six inch gutter on your home, not that small little five inch with hidden hangers, the Leaf Blaster Pro gutter cover, and regular outlets, and three by four downspouts with those. Okay, perfect. Well, let's get right into it, Mrs. Smith. So you have a total of 126 feet of gutter. You've got two outside corners, and that's right here. I'll show her the picture of what an outside corner is. Okay, and then you have one inside corner. That's where that big valley is, where you said a bunch of water comes off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, then we have five three by four downspouts that we're gonna be putting on with the regular outlet, all right? And then we have another 126 feet of the premium Leaf Blaster Pro. Any questions on any of that? No? Okay, so the grand total for everything that I just listed there is $6,502. And then I'm gonna shut up, all right? And I'm gonna let her talk. And she's gonna say like, whoa, that's way more than I thought. Or she's gonna say, Okay, how do we get started, right? Because at that point, she knows exactly what she's getting. It's gonna go one of those two ways. And if she says, whoa, that's way more than I thought. Oh, really, Mrs. Smith? What, what were you anticipating the price to be? Right, you see how I did that in a tone that was not standoffish at all, that was not aggressive at all. Like, what were you anticipating that to be, right? And then that opens the door. She's like, man, I was expecting it to be, you know, I haven't bought gutter in a really long time, but I thought it would be like two or $3,000. Oh yeah, I, I, know, I know how you feel. Um, in complete transparency, five years ago, the same product probably would have been about two or $3,000. Has it been more than five years since you bought gutter? Oh shoot, honey, yes, it's been 10 years. Oh yeah. So, you know, you know during COVID, everything got real crazy. Well. Unfortunately, aluminum hasn't really come down a ton since then. Yeah, I can see how that is. So is it, is it more of a thing like it's not in your budget or it's just more than you were expecting it to be, Mrs. Smith? Oh no, it's, I mean, we can afford it. It's just, uh, it's just more than we thought it was gonna be. Okay, yeah, I, I completely understand it, like the sticker shock on it. I just went and bought my wife a new truck the other day. Uh, we got her a Chevy Suburban. And I could not believe how expensive these things are these days, right? And I'm gonna redirect this a little bit to her. I'll, like I'm telling a story so that she's like, oh my goodness, yes, I was just at the grocery store. I cannot believe bread is $4 a loaf. I used to get it for 50 cents, right? Let her start talking about how expensive things are, right? That's, I'm redirecting it intentionally to get her to start telling those stories. The goal is to get her to start talking about how expensive things are and that, it's not me trying to rip her off. It's not the, the dealership trying to rip her off. It's just the cost of living has gone up these days, right? So we'll go down that rabbit trail a little bit and then it just becomes, hey, Mrs. Smith, I think you understand that the product that I'm presenting to you today is worth the price that we're asking for. It just really break, breaks down to how bad does your home need it? Let's, can we revisit that a little bit? Yeah, well, so you called me today um, because you wanted to protect your landscaping but upon my further investigation, we had seen some water in the basement and things like that in the past, right? Yeah. You think it's pretty important to keep water out of your basement? Oh, honey, yes, it's absolutely important. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but also, like, you've got a Garden of the Month sign out front, 
right? It's important to maintain that image too, isn't it? And it's, oh yeah, I love my gardening, perfect. Well, I think that we can all agree here that getting gutter is, is, is gonna make your life a little bit easier. It's gonna keep your basement dry, it's gonna keep your landscaping amazing, right? Yeah, okay, so all we need to get going on this is just a half down deposit, and because your gutter is just white, I'll be able to get to it in about two weeks. Okay, boom, and that's it guys. It's really that simple, all right? All you need to do is let them overcome their own objections. That's the game, all right? I'm not presenting anything here that's really earth shattering. Everybody else in the gutter world can do this, but how I presented it is very, very different than everybody else, all right? Our goal is to not sell snake oil. Our goal is to let the customer make the decision that's best for their home, and then we know that that decision is to use us for their seamless gutter. All right, y'all. Well, hey, thank you for watching a gutter presentation. This is how I cut my teeth in business by selling seamless gutter for my own business. Um, it's one of my passions. It's something that I, I really, really, really love and actually miss doing. I don't, I don't get to sell anymore. Um, so pardon me if this video is a little bit rusty at all. Uh, but um, this is it. This is how we've done everything. This is the same process that my sales reps use every single day in our locations across this country. So this stuff works. Uh, we're gonna do just shy of $10 million this year. Um, this stuff works, it works really, really well. So if there's anything that you can steal from it, please be my guest, take it, use it. Uh, I'm gonna start sharing a little more content with Gutter because well, the haters are out there. This guy doesn't know anything about Gutter, blah, blah, blah. So I'll prove to you guys I do. All right, love y'all, God bless, win bigly.